Hi everybody, I'm Fiona and do you know what really makes a race car? Like really makes a race car, makes it different from any other car out there? Yeah, all right, you already know because it's in the uh, title, but uh, yes, bonnet pins or hood pins or whatever you want to call them. Race cars have them, normal cars don't, and I want a race car so I'm going to install them. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I need to do is work out where I'm going to put this, but I think uh, probably there is, is back a little bit and structurally strong enough. Okay, so the bottom pins are installed to uh, to the car right now they're pretty solid which is good um, remains to be seen whether I guessed the right height but uh, they're up fairly tall and roughly where they'll be so I'm just going to stick some of this uh, it's actually cut and polished and just putting a little bit on top bit of a dab on each one So we can close the bonnet and uh, or hood, if you will, and uh, make a mark. And that's the spot. Now, what I'll do because this is a, a multi-layer part of the hood, I'll, I'll actually cut this section fairly large, and then do it again for the actual top the actual outside layer of the bonnet. Okay, so I'm using a uh, hole drill bit, so I'm just going to drill through that outer layer and then uh, we'll mark up the actual outer layer and go from there. Alright, look at that. So nice big clearance hole on the lower layer and then uh, it's a, a hole through the top layer, but um, it's only a small hole and need to make that a bit bigger yet, but we're going to recheck our placement. And look at that, it's just off center. And uh, we'll just check the other side for consistency. And that one's slightly lower, so uh, we'll adjust for that with the next holes that we're drilling. All right, so there we go. Uh, well placed, yes, but uh, clearance not perfect, and of course got a bit of a lip on there at the moment. Uh, it's much the same with the other side, so I'm going to get out the file and just file it out a little bit, make the hole a bit bigger, and tidy up some of these rough edges. Alright, look at that. That's uh, good clearance. Hole's nice. Obviously that works quite well. So the next step then is to place the uh, the actual pins on. And, uh, I'll just roughly place that on there. Put the pin through the center. And uh, obviously that's the, the end position. Uh, once it's looped over, uh, all I need to do now is to uh, uh, drill these little holes and, and then that rivets down and we're done. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put a little bit of celastic on the back of this just to help uh, seal it up, hold it in place. Um, I'm not a great fan of riveting on things like this. Alright, look at that. One, two, but uh, one more thing, just pressing down on the 
on the bottom. You can see there's no, there's nothing happening. There's no wiggle room in that. That's solid. The whole region is solid. But on this side, uh, when you push down, let me just get that in focus first. And when you press down, you can see that there's a, a bit of wiggle. So I'm going to uh, just to eye up that thread and drop it down just a little bit, just so that that bonnet's nice and snug there. All right, so I have bonnet pins, and uh, yes, this one needs adjusting, but beyond that, they're done. I can tick that off the list. Anyway, that's all I've got today. I'll see you next time. Bye.